Frontier is buying Spirit Airlines, which will create one of the nation's largest carriers. So how could this affect travelers here in the mid-state? Our own aviation expert, Seth Kaplan, joins <laughs> us now with the answer to that and many more questions. Good afternoon, <laughs> hey, Seth. Hey, James, how are you? You know, I can tell you, within the airline industry, it was one of the worst kept secrets that these airlines would someday merge. The front, folks who run Frontier used to run Spirit. The airlines are a lot alike. And now not a secret at all in the industry or for everyone else. Frontier and Spirit announced this morning they are merging. Uh, the Frontier side will have more control of the combined airline. Right now they are the seventh and eighth largest airlines in America. Together they'll be the fifth leapfrogging over Alaska and JetBlue. So, James, you've got American, Delta, United, Southwest, and now, well, whatever the merged frontier and spirit together will end up being called. All right, Seth, so let's talk about the local impact to this, about flights and destinations. What does this mean? Uh, so here in Harrisburg, Harrisburg International Airport, Frontier is there, not a huge presence. They fly three times a week to Orlando right now. The flight today is delayed by four hours. We're going to run out there and try to catch it. That's why we're in the studio. Uh, <laughs> but in the region, both of the airlines ha have a sizable presence. Folks, especially down in New York County, you know, drive to BWI, Baltimore, Washington, and you have both of the airlines there. Folks in Lancaster County over in Philly, both airlines are there. And you can drive over to Trenton and catch Frontier. A and so what that means is that these airlines are going to put that together and uh, Look at some places where if they think they have too many flights together, where they're not competing anymore, uh, you know, they might add something different or they might cut something. So, uh, yeah, they're not competitors anymore, uh, but they are succeeding here. So don't look, them, uh, uh, look, don't look for them to cut a lot. And the big question, though, with this airfares, what will happen with those? Yeah, there too. They're not competing anymore. Let's be very honest. Whatever companies merge, and these companies this morning said, you know, this is going to be great for the consumers. And it doesn't mean that it has to be bad for consumers, but they're merging for their own good. And in some cases where they compete today, airfares could go up uh, at least slightly. Low cost airlines still, that's not going to change, but could see some of those fares come up. And do we know what this new airline will be called? Uh, not yet. Now, Frontier is taking control of the airlines. You would think, you know, Frontier's got the, the brand, those animals on the tail, a lot of people like, likely them. Uh, but we've seen it in the past. So when America West bought U.S. Airways, they took the name of U.S. Airways. And when U.S. Airways basically took over American, they took the name of American. All right, this is a very silly question, it sounds to me, but I know you know the answer to this. <laughs> Will they serve free water? And yeah. why is this an issue? It's, it's, people joke that these airlines charge for everything except air, right? But on Frontier, when you fly them, if you ask for free water, they'll give it to you. A lot of people don't know that. You can do that. On Spirit, you can't. Uh, again, it's Frontier is going to be running this airline, so my bet would be that they'll do it on the merged airline, but something to watch along with some of those other rules. All right, and finally, Seth, do we know this? Is this a guarantee? Is this actually going to happen? Uh, it requires government approval, Department of Justice. And under the Biden administration, DOJ has been a little more skeptical of mergers. Now, I will say this merger looks more like mergers in the past that have been approved than those that haven't. But no slam dunk. They're going to take a close look at this and, and, and make sure from their perspective that it's uh, not a bad thing for consumers. All right. Seth Kaplan guiding us through all of this. Thank you very much for that and helping us out this afternoon. You got it, James.